hello guys how are you doing welcome to my page guys welcome to my page please subscribe like share and yeah let everyone come okay invite people to come and subscribe to my channel guys so guys i just wanted to talk about coming to the uk are you able to come to the uk if you're hiv positive or are you able to come to the uk if you've got a chronic condition the issue is yes you can come okay the only thing you need to do is inform them okay because there is a health declaration form that you need to inform them that you need to sign before you come after you've already done the interviews they've given you a certificate of, they've given you an offer letter then there's a health declaration form you need to inform them you need to sign to inform them okay but don't worry about it you can come even if you're HIV positive just inform them if you are pregnant you can also still come but the only thing is that when you're pregnant if you are starting work you'll not be entitled to maternity leave but the fact is that you can come and actually they'll be able to evaluate you properly and see in which area exactly are you able to work to avoid causing stress on you or exposing you to danger so it's important when you come you when you're signing that health declaration form if you've got a chronic condition you can put that chronic condition you have there as long as you are healthy you're fit enough to work then well done you can come okay my friends if you are anticipating because i was receiving a lot of questions in my inbox people were asking if they can come even when they are uh, hiv positive or what the thing is that if you have that condition you can come and if you inform them they might even be able to inform you when you tell them when you reach here they can be show you where you need to to access those services you know if you've got chronic conditions you will need to access certain uh medication like regular medication that you'll be taking so guys they don't discriminate because of your condition they don't discriminate because of your situation just inform them when i came here i had a lady who was pregnant never informed them reached 30 weeks no one knew she was pregnant and she was working like no man's business and that was causing stress on her and the baby so if she informed them earlier they would have not been allowing her to work in certain words they would have not been allowing her to work in, with certain strenuous activities because they evaluate you to see how much stress you can get when you're pregnant okay and then there was also a lady who came here had uh had a fracture on the wrist so she's unable to do strenuous exercises like resuscitation you know cpr and the like you need to use your hands and lift heavy things she informed them earlier so she's not put in areas where she needs to expose her hands so much yeah so she was put in a place where she's not to expose her hands so much so as such she's able to uh be given jobs or tasks that she's able to fulfill so guys you can come and work okay never fear don't put fear in your mind just start the process and by god's grace work hard you find yourself here okay yes you find yourself here guys <laughs> if you're coming to my hospital you wear this student uniform again you know in my country this is student uniform now <laughs> anyway i have to get used mm, imagine students are the ones wearing white uniform but anyway it doesn't matter what matters is that you're here and you're getting a pound okay guys a pound See you guys when you come. Cheers. Please note, they don't force you to review your status, especially HIV status. Get me clearly. I mean that they are going to ask to find out you, to sign a health declaration. By this time, they've already given you a job. When you reach a stage of them asking for a health declaration, they've already given you the job. So the only reason they're asking is to know if you'll be able to work, fit to work, not to know your status. So if you decide to tell them your status, that's your own desire. But the thing that you should know is that when you inform them of any issues you're having, maybe hypertensive, remember chronic conditions is not just HIV. Maybe hypertensive, maybe you've got asthma. They might be able to know in which places they can place you to work in. If you're asthmatic, maybe in places that are extremely cold 
from places that have got high chemicals, you might not be able to work in there. If you are pregnant, for example, the pregnancy I mentioned, you cannot work in COVID-positive patients. They will not take you to places where you need to lift or maybe where there are people who are mentally unstable because they can throw you, they can hit your belly and you end up losing your baby. So any of those things, do you understand? So that's why sometimes they ask you on the health declaration form. It's not that at this time immediately you tell them what is on your health declaration form, then they'll stop giving you a job. No. When you sign this health declaration form, they've already given you the job. And no one can stop, can discriminate you from not giving you a job because of your condition. And if they do, it's a crime here in the UK, okay? No one should discriminate you for any reason, for any reason, medical condition or sex or what, nothing. Feel free when you come here. We are in the land of rights. Every human being has got a right. Okay, guys, so please come to the UK and you'll find us. Okay, my darlings, forgive me. As I was recording, someone came in, so that's why I just had to put uh, pictures at the end to complete my video. <laughs>